surprise, surprise, Nikon announced a thing or two. Yes, Nikon announced two things today. So breaking news for you, the brand new Z 400 millimeter F 4.5, which is a small lightweight prime designed for long distance shooting. Wow, do I look surprised? It's a good surprised face. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk of this on the internet already, so we're not that surprised, but we are going to go over the specs with you. Yeah, I heard some people held the props of the lens in their hands and pretend it was a real lens. Yes. For the videos of those, look in the description below. We are going to add videos. The second thing that they announced was the Z30, which is a small vlogger designed Z camera, a little bit like a Z50 with the EVF shaved off the top. Are we small vloggers or are we medium-sized vloggers? I think we are actually quite big vloggers considering the amount of kit that we carry around with us. Yeah, not the amount of subscribers. No, not in popularity. No. All the gear, no idea. Exactly. Yeah. Overcompensate for things. So let's talk about the 400 4.5 first. Yes. So from what I've seen, it looked like 100 to 400 or 70 to 100 2.8 Z glass, about the same size. Yes, also similar to the 300 PF with the FTZ on the back. I would That's what my comparison mm. was for it. It is very small and lightweight. It's only 1,245 grams. It is teleconverter compatible, which is a big plus for any Z lens yeah. these days. I saw a curly gentleman holding the lens and the camera with one hand. A curly gentleman. Yes. It contains a nano crystal coat, a super ED, an ED, an SR coat, and a fluorine coat on the front. So it's got all the glass in there, but you will note that it has no phase Fresnel glass. That's what I've noticed. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If the lens is small and light, then why do you need a phase Fresnel element? Precisely. It is weather sealed, so it will be dust and drip resistant, as well as being 234.5 millimeters from the mount all the way to the front of the lens. Mm. So perfect for English weather and maybe some hot countries. Potentially. Maybe. Negan should pay us to fly there and test it. Now, with the TC compatibility, that means that you can get a 560mm lens if you've got the TC 1.4 or an 800mm lens if you've got the TC 2. Now, obviously, we haven't had a chance to put our hands on the lens yet or to make comparisons, but we are hoping to compare it with the new 800mm just to see which one's better. Okay, so 800mm, the native lens is 6.3, right? With the 400 f4.5 with the teleconverter, is roughly f9, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Interesting. It's going to yeah. be an interesting comparison. It does have fast autofocus and is very sharp wide open, so we've been told. And it also has suppressed focus breathing, which is designed specifically for our videographers mm. in the audience. Nikon doesn't forget them. No. In terms of VR, we have 5.5 stops VR. Or if you've got a Z9 and you're one of those lucky few that has synchro VR, then you can get up to six stops. I heard synchro VR is the thing. <laughs> You're going to say something else then. <laughs> it has a 95 millimeter front lens element. So that's for your filter size there. Okay. So if you've got something like 500 PF, you can just swap the filters if you want to. That's right. Or actually, what's the other one? 200 to 500. Or the 800 mil. That's true. Any of those. You can just buy one filter for them all. That's right. But you should buy really a filter for a lens okay. each. That's right. The closest focusing distance is 2.5 meters. So it's not super close, but it's probably good enough for some close up work, which mm -hmm. is great for me and my flower photography. Has nine rounded aperture blades. So the bokeh is going to be reasonably pleasing. Mm -hmm. And it comes with its lens hood, which is an HB105, and a soft case, which is the CLC5. So none of this robust case business that we had with the 800 mil. Mm -hmm. This is going to come with one of those sort of soft cloth pouches. Mm. The expensive ones. <laughs> no comment. The release date is supposedly the 14th of July over here. That's still to be confirmed. And the price in euros is 3699 or over here in Great British Pounds, it is 3299 So very reasonably priced. Okay, that's not bad. So 14th of July is very, very soon. So we're looking at, what, two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then the price, okay, 3299 Now let's have a look at the price of 400 millimeter f2.8. So it's priced at 30 and a half. So 3299 it's a bit cheaper, isn't it? Just a little bit. Obviously, the 400mm is a beautiful lens. It is bigger. It is a bit heavier. It is designed for pro sports and wildlife work. The 400 4.5 is more of a sort of keen amateur lens, an occasional safari lens. Those who would have bought or do have the 300 f4 PF with your FTZ and potentially put a teleconverter on there, this is the lens 
that Nikon are trying to get you to buy instead. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about thousands of pounds, which is a lot of money for a lot of people. Absolutely. But you know, if you're a sports and wild photographer, you probably know that the lenses are quite expensive. So in terms of this, for a lot of people who are not pros and can't spend £13,500 for a lens to go on the safari, do rent one though, um, you know, you can potentially get something like a 3300 It's not that bad. It's, you know, it's reasonable because the amount of quality you get for the money is pretty good. It's still, of course, a lot of more money and uh, some people will wait for 200 to 600 lens, which should eventually turn up. Good. We're going to have a big discussion about this lens in our Nikon Report podcast, which will be out on Thursday, tomorrow. So do join for more detailed analysis. Now let's move on to Z30 camera. Who is this camera for, Becky? The Z30 is also known as the Vlogger by Nikon's marketing team. It is small, it is simple, it has no EVF. So it is essentially a Z50 with the top cut off. Mm -hmm. Now... Let's just delve into the specs here. It has a 20.9 megapixel CMOS sensor. The same sensor as we have on Z50 and ZFC. Mm -hmm. It also has 4K 30p filming capability and also will shoot full HD at 120p. So mm -hmm. similar to the ZFC in specs there. Okay, in terms of video, I can see you can produce a video at 4K if you need to. Yeah, exactly. It also shoots at 125 minutes non-stop okay instead of 30 minutes or 29 minutes 59 seconds as on z50 or basically all video cameras except z9 all nikon cameras except z9 that's right which is interesting for the only for the geeky reason that this legislation about video cameras and their taxes and the need to make it 29 minutes 59 seconds was actually removed several years ago yeah. and it's taken this long for anyone to produce a camera that has longer than 29 minutes 59 seconds but That's we true. have it now it is wi-fi and bluetooth compatible via the snapbridge app so you can transfer your videos and stills through your mobile telephonic device fair enough um, it does have stereo microphones okay and you can also plug in an additional microphone and the way that the mics are positioned on the top of the camera allows you to place windshields on the top based on what we've seen from the photo so they have spent a little bit more time paying attention to sound which is incredibly important for video mm -hmm. you can also plug in an external microphone of course which you should really let's be honest but i guess if you would like to point camera in your face and start to talk to it without any additional accessories, then it could be very interesting. Do those windshields come with the camera or those uh, um, additional accessories? I didn't actually see them listed as coming supplied with the camera, but mm -hmm. it would be great if Nikon did supply them. They have also spent a bit more time, according to the specifications, paying a little more attention to the wind noise reduction as well mm -hmm. to make it improved. So I think we'll discuss in the podcast, which will come out tomorrow. Yeah. Now the ISO range, you can get up to 25,000 600 ISO in video and 51,200 in stills. It does have accurate autofocus, much like that taken from the ZSC and the Z62, mm -hmm. including animal and eye autofocus. It has a three inch very angled monitor, so ideal for exactly selfie vlogging. And, and one of the little features that I do like about it is that it actually has a record light on the front of the camera. So if you don't want to look at yourself recording, then you can actually see that you're recording with the light. It's the only camera so far that has that. Wow. What people did without that light before. They did what we did and just prayed that the video was recording. Yeah. We don't know. Do you think it's recording now? I, I mean, this is a really long take. So if it's not recording, then we're stuffed. <laughs> There is no IBIS on this sensor, which isn't terribly surprising because it's not on the Z50 or the ZFC, although I had hoped for it. But you do have EVR, which is electronic VR, and that's in the lenses. Okay. They've also included your function buttons, of which there are two on the front. Wow, incredible. That does one, that's one up on the ZFC. Yeah, good stuff, Nick. It is. Good stuff, amazing improvement. And you've got your U1, 2, and 3, your eye menu, your silent yeah. mode, all the things that you've come to know and love from your other DX camera. I mean, USB-C powered. Yes. This is something that we waited for. Z50 Mark II and ZFC had it. So that's good news. 11 frames per second. Okay, pretty good. The battery is the same in L25, so advice there, especially for vloggers, get a couple of those. And then it's ML L7 remote control compatible, which is now compatible with pretty much all DXZ cameras. Correct. 
a couple of things. If you're looking for a difference between the Z30 and the Z50, primarily you've got this sort of ZFC functionality. It's a little bit more like a ZFC than a Z50 in its menu layout and the extra bits and pieces that it has. It's got exposure compensation and smoothing in video. It mm. has obviously the USB power delivery that we talked about. And then in terms of similarities to the Z62, because that's obviously a thing that you'd automatically compare mm -hmm. a Z30 okay. with, it has IAF also available in the wide area autofocus. Mm -hmm. You can turn off the live view display as apparently you can do in the Z62. And it also has focus tracking with lock on, which was apparently a very important feature from the Z62 to be included in the Z30. All right, tell me the price. Okay. In euros, it is 799 and in great British pounds, it is 699. I have a feeling it's gonna be around 699 price mark in US dollars as well. Okay, so 699. ZFC is actually currently on offer at 859. Over here in the UK, it is, yeah. And then Z50 is 899. So 200 pounds cheaper. Mm. Would you miss an EVF for 200 pounds? I would personally miss the EVF. That's just me. Mm -hmm. However, the ZFC is lacking some of the extra function buttons and things that the Z30 has because obviously the Z30 is designed for vloggers. The kit with the 16 to 50 is a little bit higher price. It's 839. So you're paying 140 pounds okay. essentially for your 16 to 50 lens. Mm -hmm. And the, there's also a twin kit option, which is 1069 in the UK over here or 1219 euros. That's the 16 to 50 with the 50 to 250 lens. So that's your, your complete twin lens kit. Here you have it, folks. The camera's coming out on 14th of July, which is very, very soon. We're gonna put some pictures up, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully give you an idea of what Z30 is and do join us on Thursday for more detailed analysis of the camera and our opinions about it. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you for a further discussion on the podcast tomorrow. This is the vlogger camera. So it is designed to be small and simple. It has no electronic EVF, electronic, electronic. <laughs> electronic EVF and optical EVF as well. Um, it, okay. doesn't, it doesn't have electronic EVF or optical OVF. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or vibration reduction VR. It doesn't have sensor. vibration reduction. It has EVR, which I'm they sorry, threw. We, we need to put some romantic music. <laughs>